Hello, Anne. Hi, Sue. Can you explain something to me? Sure. What is it? What is Halloween? Oh, it's a holiday that we celebrate once a year. Is it the same date every year? Yes, it's on October thirty-one. What do people do on that day? People dress up in costumes and go to other people's homes to collect candy. Even strangers' homes? Yes, they knock on the doors and say "trick or treat." Then the homeowner gives out candy. Do adults do it too? Not many adults. It's usually just children. Isn't that unsafe? It can be, but parents go with them. I see. My son wants to do it this year. I didn't know what it was. You don't do this in your native country? No. I guess it's a new tradition we have to learn. It's a lot of fun. Your son will enjoy it. Hello. Hi, Jan. This is Tina. Is Janice going trick or treating this year? I think so. Cindy doesn't want to go. Why? She thinks it's for little kids. That's funny. She's only nine years old. I know. She thinks it's for babies. Tell her that babies cannot eat candy. She said Halloween is boring. What if she changes her mind after Halloween is over? It's only once a year. Then she has to wait another year. Maybe Janice can talk to her. Where are you and Janice going? Just around our neighborhood. There are a lot of homes around here. We live in an apartment. Maybe that's why it's boring. There aren't many kids here. Bring Cindy here on Halloween. We can all go together. What a great idea! Thanks. Hi, Joan. What is Amanda going to be for Halloween? Hi, Kathy. She wants to be a ballerina. What about Sally? She can't decide between a bear and a lion. That's cute. Are you going to make her costume? No, not this year. It's too much work. How about you? I'm lucky. Amanda took ballet lessons last month, so she can wear her ballet outfit. That's smart. Yeah, costumes can be so expensive. I know. That's why I made Sally's costume last year. What was she last year? I can't remember. A butterfly. That's right. She was so cute. Thanks. This year she wants to be an animal. That's not a bad idea. It's going to be cold outside. Her costume will keep her warm. True. I better check out the costume store soon before everything is sold out. Or you may have to make her costume again. Hey, John. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Lee. I'm setting up tables and chairs for a family barbecue. Is it a special occasion? Tomorrow is the Fourth of July. I know that tomorrow is July Four, but what is so important about it? You don't know. It's our country's Independence Day. What do you mean, Independence Day? On July Fourth, seventeen seventy-six, our country's founders declared independence from the rulers of Great Britain. How did America declare independence? We went to war against Great Britain, called the Revolutionary War, and won. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, so now the United States celebrates this day every year. How do you celebrate? We usually have a big barbecue party. Then we light fireworks when it gets dark. Oh, those loud and colorful explosions in the sky? Yeah. Would you like to come over and watch them with our family? Sure. Can I bring my children too? Of course. They will enjoy them, but it is very dangerous, so we have to watch the kids carefully. Hey, Bill, what are you doing on the Fourth of July? Hi, Jeff. My family and I are going to the park to watch the fireworks. The park? We do that every year. It has become our annual family tradition. That's a great tradition. Does it get crowded there? Yes, it gets very crowded. So we leave early and just hang out at the park all day. Is there parking available? Yes, but it is very limited. What time do you get there? We usually go around 4 p.m. The fireworks show starts around 6 p.m. Do you take your dog? No, he doesn't like loud noises. It scares him. A couple of years ago, he ran away during the fireworks show. 
That's terrible. Poor dog. So now we leave him with my parents on the 4th of July. Their neighborhood is very quiet. Your parents don't like fireworks? Not anymore. They say it's too loud. Their neighborhood does not allow fireworks. Why? They say it's too loud and dangerous. Oh, I understand. That's why I watch the fireworks on TV. That's a quiet and safe place to watch them. Mom, what are we planning for Independence Day? We're having a barbecue party with some relatives, Billy. Yummy! What are we eating? Hot dogs, like we do every year. Yay! That is my favorite food. I know. Mom, can I invite someone? Sure. Who? Our new neighbor down the street. He is new to this country. He's never celebrated Fourth of July before. What is his name? Michael. Okay. Please invite Michael and his family to our party. Does Michael know about Independence Day? Yeah. He said he learned about it in school in his native country. What country are they from? I don't know. I forgot to ask him. Okay. We can ask them this weekend. Where is Dad? He's hanging up the American flag on our front porch. I can't believe tomorrow is the first day of the new year. I know. 2015 went by so fast. It did. Have you made a New Year's resolution yet? What is that? A goal you want to set or achieve in the new year. Haven't you ever made a New Year's resolution? No. Do you make one every year? Yes. Do you achieve your goal every year? No. I hardly ever achieve them. What were they? One year was losing weight. Another year, I was going to quit smoking. There are too many to list. If you can't achieve them, why do you make one every year? I should at least try to achieve one goal. Was there ever a successful resolution? Let me think about it. I don't think so. Then your resolution for the new year should be not to make any more resolutions. Great idea. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Sally. How did you spend your New Year's Eve? I did the countdown to New Year's with my family. How about you? I worked until 9 p.m. and met some friends afterwards. You had to work on New Year's Eve? Yeah. I stayed up until midnight to wish everyone a Happy New Year. Then I went home to sleep. I was so tired. Why are you up so early? Do you have to work today, too? No. I'm going to my parents' house. I'm going to watch the Rose Bowl on TV with my dad. It's our annual tradition. What is the Rose Bowl? You've never heard of the Rose Bowl? It's a big American college game. It's played every January 1st. We don't watch that much football in our house. Have you ever watched the Tournament of Roses parade? No. What is that? It's a big parade that is shown before the football game. It's America's New Year celebration. That must be fun. You should watch it. It's an annual American tradition. I think I will. Well, I better go now. Happy New Year, Sue. Happy New Year, Sally. Happy New Year, Tom. Oh, Happy New Year, Joe. Can you believe another year has passed? I'm glad it finally ended. I'm looking forward to a new year. You had some bad luck last year, didn't you? Yes. I lost my job, my car broke down, and then my cat almost died. I can't believe all of that happened in one year. That's why I'm hoping the new year will be much better. I'm sure it will be. Yeah. I have a job interview next week. My parents loan me money to buy a new car. My cat is on medication. The vet thinks he will make a full recovery. That's great. Looks like good luck is coming your way. I hope so. What are you looking forward to in the new year? Well, Jill and I are expecting our first child. Congratulations! That's great news! The new year is going to be a wonderful one for you and Jill. Thanks, Tom. Hey, let's start off the new year with a drink. Do you want to go grab a beer tonight? Sure. We can toast to a happy new year. Hi, Anne. 
Hi, Sue. I have a question about Thanksgiving. What does that day mean? It's an American holiday that's celebrated once a year. What is the date? There is no actual date. It is different every year. It is on the fourth Thursday in November. That's interesting. Why do Americans celebrate this day? It first started many years ago after the Pilgrims settled in America. They wanted to celebrate the first harvest after settling in America. Oh, I see. Is there anything special Americans do on that day, like fireworks on the Fourth of July? We typically roast a whole turkey and make lots of other dishes like potatoes and stuffing. Wow, that sounds like a feast. Can your family eat all of that? We invite our relatives and celebrate this day together. It's like a family reunion. It is, and pumpkin pie is usually the dessert because pumpkins are in season in the fall. It sounds like a nice tradition. Nowadays, many people celebrate this day to give thanks for all of their blessings, like family and good health. I like this tradition. Maybe I will roast a turkey this year. Will you teach me? Sure, I would love to. I have many great recipes I can share with you. Hello. Hi, Linda. This is Mom. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just planning the menu for the Thanksgiving dinner. What can I help you with this year? Would you like to bring your delicious pumpkin pies again? Everyone loved them last year. Sure. Is there anything else? No, I think your sisters are bringing salads and other side dishes. Okay, will our cousins be joining us? I don't think so. I think they have to go visit their in-laws this year. Okay, how many pumpkin pies should I bring? Maybe three. That should be plenty. Okay, are you roasting a big turkey this year? Yeah, probably around twenty pounds. Wow, that's big. I like having leftovers. I make turkey sandwiches and soups for your dad. Mom, I have a confession. What is it? Is it serious? I don't make my pumpkin pies. I buy them at the market. Oh, I know. The price tags were on the bottom of the pans. Hi, Steve. Why aren't you packing? Aren't you going home for Thanksgiving? Hey, John. No, the airplane ticket is too expensive. Oh, that's too bad. What are you going to do for Thanksgiving then? I'm just going to spend it here in the dormitory. But the college campus will be closed, and most of our friends will be going home for the weekend. I know. I'll just use the time to study. That's not fun. Would you like to come over to my house this weekend? No, that's okay. I don't want to be a burden. Don't be silly. You won't be a burden. My mom always makes too much food. All of our relatives come over. We have a great time. Are you sure? I would really like that. Of course, I'm sure. We have plenty of room too. Thanks. You're a great friend. You're welcome. Now you better start packing. I'm leaving soon. What time are we leaving? Three o'clock. It's a three-hour drive from here. Okay. Let me pay for gas. We can each pay half. Sounds great. Thanks again. I'll be ready soon. I'm so glad there is no school on Monday. Me too. But why do we have that day off? You don't know? No. Why, Sam? It's Memorial Day. This is the day we remember the people who died serving in the United States military. Wow, I didn't know that. It's an important day. It's not just a day off from school and work. I see. Is it always in May? Yeah, it's always observed on the last Monday in May. I just thought it was another day off from school. I'm glad to know what this day means now. It's really important in our family. My grandfather and great grandfather both served in the United States Army. They both died serving this country. Do you do anything special on this day? Each year, my family and I go to the cemetery and place flowers on their graves. I've never been to a cemetery before. Is it scary? 
No, we go every year, so it's not scary anymore. Do all schools close on this day? I think so, but only in the United States. It's an American holiday. Some businesses like post offices and banks close too. Thanks for telling me what Memorial Day means. I'm going to go home and ask my brother if he knows. Mom, why do people get Labor Day off? Well, Kathy, it's the day we honor working Americans. So we celebrate people that work? Yes. Back in the late 1800s, many Americans were working long hours under poor conditions. People protested to have better working conditions, and a special holiday was created for workers. In 1894, Labor Day became a national holiday. So, people have a day off from work? Yes. Many businesses close, and companies let people take a day off. Post offices and banks are closed. And schools are closed, too? Yes. Schools are not open on this day, either. Is it always in September? Yes. It's always the first Monday in September. Do we do anything special on this day? Well, now it's also celebrated as the end of summer. Is that why we always have a picnic and get together with family and friends? Yes. Some places even have fireworks and parades. I'm glad there is a day to honor hard-working people. Yes, Kathy. One day you will also be a hard-working American. Hi, Alice. Do the kids go to school next Monday? Hi, Sue. No, they don't. It's President's Day. What is President's Day? It's an American holiday. It's a day where we honor the United States' former presidents. All of the former presidents? We used to celebrate our first president, George Washington's birthday, and our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Were they both born in February? Yes, but in the 1970s, a law was passed that all presidents would be honored on one day in February. It became a national holiday. Is it celebrated on the same day each year? We celebrate it on the third Monday in February. Are businesses closed too? Some businesses, like post offices and banks, will be closed. But not all businesses close. Do all schools close? Yes, typically they do. Thanks for the information. How do you know so much about President's Day? I used to be a history teacher. Is it a small bag? Yes, it is. Is it a big apartment? Yes, it is. Is your husband clever? Yes, very. He is writing a novel. Is it a beautiful girl? Yes, it is. Is it a young woman? Yes, it is. Is it an old man? Yes, it is. Are they little children? Yes, they are. Is it a new car? No, it is an old car. Is it a good store? No, it is a bad store. Is it an expensive cottage? It is a cheap cottage. Our cottage in London is more expensive. Is it a big apartment? No, it is a small apartment. Is it an expensive dress? No, it is an expensive dress. Is it a new or old film? It is a new film. Is it an expensive or cheap suit? It is a cheap suit. Do you think this dog is clever or foolish? Of course it is clever. Is it a good or bad textbook? It is a bad textbook. Is it a young or old man? It is a young man. What color is it? It is a red color. Do you have a green pen? Yes, I have a green pen. Is there a red pencil on the table? No, there isn't. There is a blue pencil. 
Do you have a black suit? I don't have a black suit. I have a brown suit. What color is the rainbow? It is multicolored. Where is the pen? The pen is on the table. Where are the cars? In the street. Where is your phone? It is in the bag. Where are the children? The children are in the classroom. Where are your things? My things are in the wardrobe. What are you doing? I am relaxing. What is he doing? He is reading a book. What are they doing? They are walking in the park. What is she doing? She is watching a film. What are you doing? We are listening to the music. Where do you study? I study at the university. Where does this girl work? She works at school. Where does this friend work? She works in a bank. Does Pavel's brother study at college? Yes, he studies at college. Do your friends work in a bank? No, they work in a firm. What is your profession? I am a doctor. Is he a manager? No, he is a seller. Is she an actress? No, she is a teacher. Is your mother a lawyer? Yes, she is a lawyer. What is her husband's profession? He is a driver. Do you live in Georgia? Yes, I live in Georgia. Where do his parents live? They live in Russia. Where was she born? She was born in Russia. Where was his son born? He was born in America. Does her friend live in England? No, she lives in Canada. What is your nationality? I am Russian. What is your friend's nationality? She is English. Is he American? Yes, he is American. Are they French? No, they are German. Is his friend Italian? No, he is Spanish. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Does his brother speak French? No, he doesn't. Do her colleagues understand Russian? No, they don't. Can you read and write German? Yes, I can. Does she know Chinese? No, she doesn't. How old are you? I am 25 years old. How old is your father? He is 45 years old. Is she 30 years old? Yes, she is 30 years old. Is his brother 15 years old? No, his brother is 17 years old. How old is their dog? It is two years old. How many books are there in the bookcase? There are 42 books. How many fishes are there in the sea? I don't know. Are there 35 persons in your firm? 
No, there are 50 persons in our firm. How many dresses does your wife have? Maybe 40, maybe 60. How many days are there in a year? 365 days. Can you tell me the time, please? 20 past 2. Could you tell me the time, please? Half past 4. What time do you usually get up? At 7 o'clock. What time do you go to bed? At 11 o'clock. What hours do you work? From 9 to 18 o'clock. What day is it today? Today is Sunday. When do you work? On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. When does she relax? On Saturday and Sunday. Is today Tuesday? No, today is Wednesday. When does he study English? He studies English every day. What is your favorite season? My favorite season is fall. When was he born? He was born in summer in July. When is she on vacation? In September. Do you like spring? Sure, spring is the beginning of new life. Did they come to London in October? No, they came in November. What is the weather like in summer in Moscow? It is warm, the sun shines. What will the weather be tomorrow? It will be called minus 10 degrees. What is the temperature today? It's plus 15 degrees. It's a nice day today, isn't it? Yes, it's lovely. Does it always snow in Russia? Of course not, only in winter. Do you remember what the date is today? Sure, on this day Senate won Russian football. What year is it? It is 2015. In what year were you born? I was born in 1994. When did they come to Canada? In 2005. In what year did he graduate from the university? In 2007. Hello, may I please speak to Mr. Green? Just a minute. Hello, Miss Smith, please. She is not here, may I take her message? May I speak to Mr. Woods? He is very busy, call back a little later. Hello, may I please speak to Steve? He has already left. Call back tomorrow. May I take your message for Mr. Rhodes? No, thanks. Could you tell me please where the store MOSKVA is located? It is located on Sky Street. Tell me, please, how to get to the metro. Go straight ahead, then to the left. Excuse me, do you know how to get to the American Embassy? I am sorry, I don't know. Do you go to work by car? No, by metro. What would you like? Give me, please, ten postcards to the most beautiful girl in the world. What would you like? 
I would like to look at textbooks. How much is the suit? One thousand dollars. May I look at it? Yes, certainly. Show me, please, this bag. Here you are. How much do you want? Two kilograms. How much do I owe? You owe two hundred forty dollars. Here is two hundred and fifty dollars. Take your change. Do you have dictionaries? Sure. What dictionaries do you want? Here is your check and change. Thank you. What size shirt do you need? Forty-two. What color bag do you want? Black. Could you tell me if this tie is fashionable? Not really. Take that one instead. Could you tell me if these flowers are fresh? Yes, they are fresh. How many stems do you want? Is this a wool sweater? Yes, it is wool and of high quality. What did you buy in this store? Some bread, two packages of milk, a package of butter, and a bottle of water. Would you like to choose a fur coat? No, I want to try fur coats on. They are my antidepressants. I am going to the store. What shall I buy for you? Please buy some tea and cookies. Do you like shopping? Oh yes, shopping is my favorite pastime. What did he buy for his girlfriend? Flowers and candy. What does she do in the morning? She washes, brushes her teeth, brushes her hair, gets dressed, and makes herself up. Why don't you have dinner? I am keeping to a diet. What do you have for breakfast? Yogurt and bread and cheese. Do they have lunch in the office or at cafe? Usually at cafe, sometimes in the office. What do you do during the day? During the day, I usually work. What does she usually have for dinner? Soup, meat with rice and stewed fruit. What does he do during the day? He studies at the university until three o'clock. Then he has dinner, and then he goes to the library. What time do you get home from work? At about seven or eight o'clock. Why doesn't your daughter ever take walks? What does she do all day long? In the morning, during the day, and in the evening, she studies English. She must take an exam. What do your parents do in the evening? They watch TV, read newspapers, and take the dog for a walk. Did you go to the store with your son? Did you buy him toys? Yes, I did. Who did he go to a cafe with? With his girlfriend. What did your mother do yesterday? She worked and then went to a store. Where did your friends go in the morning? They went to a fitness club. Did you go to the zoo with your daughter yesterday? Yes, I did. What will you do in the evening? I am going to watch films. I have bought some new discs. Where are you going to go? 
Of course to a store. I need to buy some new clothes and shoes. What is she going to do this weekend? On Saturday she will go to her friend's house and on Sunday she will go to the doja. What plans do you have for Tuesday? During the day I'll work and in the evening I'll go to an exhibition. Will you go to a bookstore on Thursday? No, I'll go on Friday. Sandra, are you free tomorrow evening? Yes, I am free. Linda, I invite you to the movies. Thanks for the invitation. I will definitely come. Kate, do you want to go to the theater with me? I am sorry. Unfortunately, I am busy. Where and when will we meet? Let's meet at the metro at 5 o'clock. Sue, let's go to the park in the evening. I can't. I have a lot of work. Does theater fascinate Mary? No, these are actors who fascinate her. What does he do in his free time? He plays sports. What is she interested in? She is interested in classical music. Do you have hobbies? My hobby is cooking. I love to cook. What does Jim do during his vacation? He swims, sunbathes, rides a scooter and goes fishing. Who is your favorite composer? My favorite composer is Mozart. What is his favorite sport? His favorite sport is tennis. Does she like modern music? She likes modern music less than classical music. Where do you go on vacation? Usually to Egypt or Turkey. Do you dive during your vacation? No, during my vacation I downhill ski. How is your health? Well, thanks. How do you feel? Everything is fine, thanks. What hurts? My throat hurts. You need to go to the doctor. I don't want to go to the doctor. What is his temperature? 38. Why weren't you at the university? I was sick. I hope you get better soon. Thank you. May I speak to you? Unfortunately, he isn't at work. He is ill. What did the doctor say? The doctor said that I needed to take pills and drink more liquids. How does Carol feel? She is better. May I go out? Certainly. Can I help you? No, thanks. May I have your documents? Here you are. What is your name? My name is Pavel. What is your last name? My last name is Andreev. What is your dog's name? Its name is Rex. What is your girlfriend's name? Her name is Tanya. What is your friend's last name? His last name is Vincent. Let's get acquainted. My name is Ivan. Nice to meet you. Meet my friend Tim.
I am very glad. Nice to meet you. You too. Let me introduce you to our colleague Hugh Newman. We are very glad to meet you. Let me introduce you. This is Jim. Pleased to meet you, Jim. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? How are you? Everything is okay. How was your father doing? Good, thanks. Good, and you? Also good. How is work? Excellent. Who is it? It is Michael. Who are they? They are men and women. Who are these? These are children. Is that Tom? Yes, that is him. Is it a dog? Yes, it is a dog. What is it? It is a table. What is this? This is a chair. What is that? That is a phone. Is it a suit? Yes, it is a suit. Is this a tie? Yes, this is a tie. Is it a table or chair? It is a chair. Is it a man or a woman? It is a woman. Is that a coat or an overcoat? That is an overcoat. Is this Michael or Joe? It is Michael. Is that Cat or Linda? It is Linda. Is it Kevin? No, it is Jim. Is it a man? No, it is a woman. Is that Jean? No, that is Maggie. Is it a textbook? No, it is a dictionary. Is it a pen? No, it is a pencil. Do you have a family? Yes, I do. Does she have any children? Yes, she has a son. Do you have a sister? No, I don't have a sister. Does he have a brother? Yes, he does. Is she married? No, she is not married. Whose phone is it? It is my phone. Whose car is it? It is her car. Whose things are they? They are Ted's things. Is it your room? Yes, it is my room. Are these their books? Yes, these are their books. Whose daughter is it? It is my daughter. Are they your parents? Yes, they are my parents. Is this her husband? Yes, this is her husband. Let me introduce you to my wife. Is it your wife? Whose dog is that? It is his dog. Is it his or her phone? It is her phone. Are they Hughes or Bill's things? They are Hughes things. Whose coat is this? Michael's or Sue's? What a question. Of course it's Michael's. Are they his or her parents? They are her parents. 
Are these Bob's or Jane's textbooks? These are Jane's textbooks. Is it your laptop? No, it is not my laptop. Is it her dictionary? No, it is not her dictionary. Are they your notebooks? No, they are not our notebooks. Is it Bill's phone? No, it is Hugh's phone. Is it Sue's coat? No, it is Sandra's coat. Is it your brother? No, it is my friend. Are they your parents? No, they are my friends. Is it her daughter? No, it is her sister. Is it his wife? No, it is his daughter. Are they their children? No, they're John's children. Is it a new house? Yes, it is a new house. Is it an interesting book? Yes, it is. Is it a good textbook? Yes, it is. Let's go to the movies tonight. Okay, let's go. I booked two tickets to a jazz concert. Do you want to come? When will that be? Next Saturday at 8 p.m. That's fine with me. Let's go. Do you feel like dancing tonight? Sounds good. Where do you want to go? Let's go to a nightclub. Let's go on a bus excursion tomorrow at 10 a.m. Will we be back for lunch? I think so. How much does it cost? $20. I booked two tickets to a cocktail party. Do you want to come? When will that be? Tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Where? At the hotel's nightclub. Okay, let's go. There's a jazz band on at the nightclub. Do you want to come? Sounds like fun. What time does it start? 9 p.m. Okay, we can have dinner at the hotel. Let's go on a safari tomorrow. Sounds like fun. Let's go. We'll start early morning and we'll be back 10 p.m. How much does it cost? $150. Lunch and dinner are included. How old are you? I'm 25. How old is your girlfriend? She's three years younger. She's 22. How old are you? I'm 32. How old is your wife? She's the same age. Do you have kids? We have an 8-year-old girl. Have you ever been to New York? Yeah, I lived there from 1999 till 2002. I traveled in Australia three years ago. Three years ago, that means in 2006. Exactly. How long did it take you to get to the hotel? Around two hours. The traffic was bad. What time did you start? Around 10 p.m. I'm sorry I'm late. That's okay. 
I have to apologize for last night. No problem. Forgive my English. I'm just learning. That's okay. Thank you very much. Anytime. Thanks. You are welcome. Could you help me with the suitcase? Sure. Do you think we'll be late for the flight? I hope not. Do you think it's going to rain? I think so. Do you think we'll be back for dinner? I don't think so. Do you think it's a good hotel? I guess so. I'd like to return this tie. Certainly, ma'am. Will you come to my birthday party? Sure. How much did you pay for it? 200 euros. Exactly. Are you kidding? No kidding. Do you have the receipt? Here it is. I don't want to go to the party. Come on, it'll be fun. How was your trip to Paris? It was fantastic. Did you like the hotel you stayed at? It was awful. We are going to Prague for the new year. Have a good time. Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Alex. And you are? I'm John. Where are you from, Alex? I'm from Russia. How about you? I'm from the UK. Nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. What's your name? My name's Peter, and you are? I'm Julia. Where are you from, Julia? I'm from the US, and you? I'm from Russia. Nice to meet you, Julia. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. I'm Hans, and you are? I'm Maria. Where are you from, Maria? I'm from Moscow, Russia. And you? I'm from Germany. Nice to meet you, Maria. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Lisa. Where are you from, Lisa? I'm from Ekaterinburg in Russia. And you? And I'm from France. Nice to meet you, Jack. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Peter. And you are? I'm Alex. Where are you from? From Russia. And you? I'm from the UK. Are you here on business or on vacation? On vacation. How about you? I'm here on business. Is this your first time here? No, that's my second time. Nice to meet you, Alex. Nice to meet you. 
Hi, what's your name? I'm Paul. I'm from France. And you? I'm Sandra. I'm from Germany. Are you here on business or on vacation? I'm here on business. Is this your first time here? No, I've been here many times. Do you like it here? Yeah, that's a nice place. Hello, what's your name? I'm Henry. I'm from Canada. And I'm Alex from Russia. Is this your first time here? No, that's my second time. Do you like it here? I like it a lot. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, what's your name? I'm Katya. I'm Sam. Where are you from, Katya? I'm from St. Petersburg in Russia. And you? I'm from the U.S. Are you here on vacation? Yeah, on vacation. How long will you stay here? One more week. How about you? I'm here on business. I'm leaving tomorrow. Hi, Sam. How are you? Good, thanks. And you? I'm okay, thank you. Hi, what's up? Oh, not so much. Hi, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm okay, thank you. How old are you? I'm 32. Are you married? Yes, I'm married with two kids. What do you do? I'm a housewife. How old are you? I'm 21. Are you married? No, I'm not. What do you do? I study law. How about you? I'm an accountant. Do you like your job? No, not really, but I make good money. What do you do in your spare time? I like reading books and I like going out with my friends at weekends. How old are you? I'm 26. Are you married? Yes, I'm married, but I don't have kids. What do you do professionally? I sell real estate. And you? What do you do? I'm head of marketing department. What does your company do? We sell digital equipment. What do you do for recreation for fun? I like playing the guitar and watching movies. How old are you? I'm 43. Are you married? No, never been. What do you do professionally? I'm a doctor. Do you like your job? Yeah, I like it a lot. And what do you do for recreation? I like driving fast cars and I like cooking too. What do you do professionally? I'm a chief accountant at a jewelry factory. How about you? What do you do? I study law. I also do a part-time job at a lawyer's office. What do you do? 
I'm a business consultant. I work for a big company. I work full time. And what do you do? I'm interior designer. I'm not working at the moment. I'm looking for a job. What do you do professionally? I'm HR manager. I work for a big company. How about you? What do you do? I run my own business. What does your company do? We sell ladies wear. What do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. I run my own business. What does your company do? In fact, it's a small pharmacy. Do you like your job? I like it because I'm my own boss. Are you a student? Yeah, I study economics in a university. Are you doing any part time job? I work as a waiter in a restaurant. What do you do? I'm a personal assistant to CEO. Is it a big company? No, it employs 150 people. Are you happy with your job? Well, yes, but sometimes it's boring. What do you do? I'm account manager. Do you like your job? Not really, but I make good money. Let's go out for dinner. I know a very nice Japanese restaurant. Sounds good. I love Japanese food. What do you like it? Do you think it's healthy? Sure, it has a lot of fresh seafood and rice. Do you like Mexican food? No, not really. Why? It's very popular. It's too hot for me. I prefer Italian food. Do you like Chinese food? Yeah, I like it very much. How about Russian food? I like Russian. It's very good. How about fast food? Oh, no, it's not healthy. Let's go out for dinner. Where do you want to go? I know a very nice place not far from here. They make excellent Mediterranean food. Let's eat out tonight. I'm too tired to cook. Okay, where do you want to go? How about Chinese food tonight? Sounds good. Let's go. Do you like eating out? I love it. I often go out for dinner. What food do you prefer? I prefer traditional Russian food. What do you do for fun? I have a passion for ice dancing. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing that since I was eight. What do you do for recreation? I like playing the guitar. Can you sing too? Yes, a little. I also compose music sometimes. What do you do for fun? I like diving. I go on a diving trip two or three times a year. I think diving is very dangerous. Oh, come on. Diving is lots of fun if you follow all instructions. You speak German very well. Thanks. Where did you learn it? My first wife was German. What's your native language? 
Italian. Your English is fluent. Where did you learn it? I spent two years in Canada. I worked there. Can you speak French as well? I can speak French a little, but I can't read or write. What do you do for fun? Photography is my passion. How long have you been doing that? I started three years ago, and now I have a big portfolio. What do you do for recreation? I like gardening. I have a big garden outside my country house. What do you grow there? Oh, all sorts of things, but growing flowers is my passion. I'm married with two kids, a son and a daughter. How old are they? The boy is 10 and the girl is 12. And what does your husband do? He's a lawyer. Do you and your family live in Moscow? No, we live in a big house outside the city. I don't have brothers or sisters, but I have two cousins. Do you keep in touch? Yeah, they live out of country. Do you go to see them? I've been only once. My father lives in France. How old is he? 74. How about your mother? She died three years ago. Do you go to see your father? Yes, I go to see him every year. My son is 28. Is he married? Yeah, he's married. He has a baby daughter, my granddaughter. She's very cute. How about your husband? Oh, he died many years ago. Are you married? No, I'm divorced. Do you have kids? I have a daughter. She's six. She lives with her mother, my ex-wife. Do you see your daughter sometimes? Yeah, every weekend. How much does it cost? $35. Oh, that's too much. Let's make it 30. No, $35 is a good price. How much is that? 84 euros. Oh, that's too much. Let's make it 70. Okay. What's the price for this lady's scarf? $45, ma'am. Let's make it 40. Oh, no, ma'am. It's silk and 100% handmade. $45 is a good price. What if I take two? Will you give a discount for two scarves? Two scarves for $80, okay? Okay. I'm afraid I don't have enough cash. Do you accept credit cards? I'm afraid not, sir. There's a cash machine not far from here. You can get cash there. Could you tell me how to get there? Slash how do I get there? How much is that? $52. I'm afraid I don't have enough dollars. Do you accept euros? I'm afraid not. There's a currency exchange just round the corner. You can exchange money there. Thank you. 
Could you get a cab for me, please? I need to go to the airport. Okay. What's the charge? Around sixty dollars. I need to go to the central square. Okay. Is it far from here? No, around ten minutes. What's your charge? Fifteen euros. Keep the change. Thank you. How do I get to the metro, please? Go straight on and turn left. Is it far from here? No, around five minutes. How do I get to the drugstore, please? Go on till the crossroads and turn right. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm looking for a cash machine. It's just round the corner. Thanks. Excuse me, how do I get to the railway station? You should get a cab. Is it far from here? No, it's a ten-minute drive. Thanks. Could you get a cab for me, please? You should take the metro. The traffic is bad today. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport, please? You should take the local train to go to the airport. Hello. I'd like to check in, please. Your passport and your voucher, please. Room number three two one, third floor. Here's your key. Is smoking allowed in the room? No. You can smoke only outside. You have to leave a deposit of one hundred U.S. dollars. Okay. I just got back from Paris. Was it some kind of a package trip? Yes, it included air travel, a four-day stay at Le Meridian Hotel on half board with buffet, breakfast, and dinner plus excursions. The Meridian is a very good hotel. Did you like your room? It was a standard room with a big bathroom, hair dryer, satellite TV, IDD phone, mini bar, and tea coffee facilities. How about the hotel? What facilities were there in the hotel? There was a fitness center, a beauty center, and a very nice lounge with live piano music every night. How much is one minute call to Russia? Five dollars. Room service. I'd like to have a cappuccino and a bottle of drinking water, please. Your room number. One hundred thirty-four. Ten minutes, sir. Can I sign it to my room? Sure, sir. Excuse me. I'd like to see the schedule for the shuttle bus. Here you are. When I went to Egypt, I stayed at a very nice hotel. I got a room with sea view. What was the name of the hotel? Paradise Hotel. I'm sorry, but I'd like to change rooms. Why? What's the problem with your room? The furniture is broken and the air conditioner is not working. I'm sorry, but I'd like to change rooms. What's wrong with your room? I expected to get a sea view, and I actually paid for it, but I got a city view.
Could you please wait here? I'll settle that in five minutes. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hello, I'd like to have a couple of fresh towels, please. Your room number, sir? 543. Five minutes, sir. Hello, could you connect me to room number 345? The guest's name, please? Anatoly Ivanov. Hold on, sorry, the line is busy. Try again later. Do you like water sports? Yeah, I like wakeboarding and tubing. Isn't it dangerous? Not at all. Tubing is lots of fun, and wakeboarding takes some practice and effort. Do you like diving? I've never done that. You should try it. You can do guided diving. Okay, I'll think about it. In fact, I like fishing. I got sunburns yesterday. You should be careful. You should stay in the shade. By the way, you can get a special after-sun treatment in the spa center. Sounds good. I think I'll have it. I can have manicure and pedicure too. I've just spent three hours in the spa center. I had a face treatment, a full body massage and aromatic bath with sea salt. How was it? Are you feeling better now? I feel like heaven. Be careful staying in the sun. Use sun protection. Safe hours are from 7 till 11 a.m. and after 2 p.m. In case of sunburns, call for a doctor. I think I'll have a facial cleaning today. You should try a honey massage. Is it good? I liked it a lot. It was very relaxing. Hello, I'd like to rent a car, please. Certainly. What class do you have in mind? Compact. It would be a Ford Focus sedan. And for how long? Three days. Okay, can I see your license, please? Here it is. Thanks. And what if I have a problem with the car? Just call this toll-free number and our roadside assistance team will be on your way in half an hour. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is. I'm renting a car from you and I have a problem with the car. Hello, could I have your booking number? It's in the top right corner of your rental agreement. The number is. While I'm opening your file, would you please describe the nature of the problem? It's easy. I have a flat tire. Are you okay, sir slash ma'am? Were you able to pull to the side of the road? I'm okay. I just want the car to continue my trip. Stay where you are. We'll locate you and our roadside assistance team will be on your way in 30 minutes. Thanks. Do you usually rent a car when you travel? All the time. I last did it when I was traveling in France. How was it? It was great. What was the name of the rental agency? Hertz. When I was traveling in Italy, I rented a car for four days. Was it expensive? No, I paid only 400 euros. 
We're running out of gas. We have to stop for gas at a gas station. Regular. Fill it up full, please. That'll be 30 euros, ma'am. You're driving too fast. There's a speed limit here, 50 miles per hour. You're a very good driver. How long have you been driving? I've been driving since I was 15. Let's rent a car. I lost my driver's license, so I can't drive before I get a new one. Three people got killed in a car accident last week.